Johnny Walker, the world's most popular Scotch whiskey. If you're a Scotch fan, chances are you've had your share. But how does Black Label stand out from other blended Scotch whiskeys on the market? And is it really worth being the top selling Scotch brand in the world? Find out now on Two Dudes Reviews. The Walking Man, one of the world's first true brand logos. Perhaps the more sophisticated origin of the Jumpman? It depends how you look at it. Distilled in Kilmarnock, Scotland, Black Label is the next move up from red. Aged at least 12 years with a blend of about 40 whiskeys, it is actually the original Johnny Walker, back when it was known as Walker's Old Highland in 1865. It didn't go by the title of Black Label until 1909. So, how does the original Johnny Walker stand up to the rest of the world of scotch? Alright, that's right. We have Johnny Walker Black Label today. We're going to give that a test. Um, if you're new to our how we do our reviews here, uh, we break it down to six different categories. We do this for all of our kinds of alcohol, beer, whiskey, wine, whatever. Um, we break it down into smell, taste, value for price, drinkability, distinction, and will I buy it again. So, um, Let's try out our Johnny Walker Black. Now, if you're like most people who have had scotch before, chances are you have had at least a version of Johnny Walker before. Yeah. Red Label's base, but there's probably well over a dozen versions now. Um, so, alright. You got your nice uh, honey color for the Johnny Walker black label. Nice color, not cloudy. All right, now let's begin. Let's start with smell. You have a nice. You can smell the the the, the wood that it ages in. It's sweet. Got a nice sweet, um, almost a, like a caramel vanilla, but a, a heavier on the uh, the wood woody flavor, along with the vanilla. get further into it. You do get a little, little sweetness, um, almost citrusy. It's very it's very smooth. So yeah, it's definitely a, you got your wood, woodsy flavor, and your your uh, heavier caramel vanilla. Maybe a little apricot as well. So it's very, very pleasing smell. So for the smell category, yes, I, I recommend it. Now, to the taste. Very, very smooth to swallow it. It doesn't, there's not much of a, a burst of uh, w warmth that much. You get a little bit at the tip of your mouth, but it really does not travel back at all. You know, it pretty much just hits the tip of your tongue and then disappears as it goes down.
You have the uh, the woodsy, the heavy wood caramel. I just let it kind of gloss over your entire mouth. And as as it really kind of expands in your mouth, you do get the more more warmth filling it. But it is, it doesn't. You don't get the warmth down your throat. It kind of it all stays in your mouth. So there, there's a little trail end of vanilla at the very end of it, but not so much initially. You get more of the uh, the um, the wood um, caramel kind of flavor as you're sipping on it. Maybe, maybe a little bit of almost apricot mixed in with the wood. You have a nice finish on it. It's not, you don't, you're not plagued with a really heavy aftertaste. Um, it's pretty, um, it's smooth. It kind of, you still have it lingering in your mouth, but it's not, it's not super harsh. So from the initial, you know, notes, of the uh, eat the wood and the apricot and um, yeah the, the caramel and that kind of uh, almost gets a little not sweet but you get a little of that hint of the vanilla that towards the very end so it's a very smooth uh, blended scotch so for taste yeah I recommend it it's, it's, it's an enjoyable taste now for um, value for price, um, I think you know it depends. It's going to depend on um, where you live, what taxes are for um, liquor and stuff like that. I believe um, I think the Johnny Walker Black is going to cost you anywhere from thirty to thirty-five dollars, depending on that. And when you compare that to other scotches out or blended scotches out there of a similar quality, it's it's a fair price. Of course, since it is so widely sold across um, the world that it allows them to sell it for a little bit less so that helps so honestly for um, really with the quality that you're getting and for the um, the price it's not bad it's not bad so if, I feel like if you want a, a decent step up from your your base level uh, quality whiskeys and, or scotches and you don't want to spend a whole lot more but you still get a nice step up I, this, is, this, this is a good one so yes I'm gonna recommend it for value for price now uh, category number four is drinkability and is that can I continue to sip on this and uh, you know not feel like I have to stop in the middle of the class so for me for drinkability, for me to really want to, you know, go back to the well and pour it on the glasses, is, is it's got to be kind of smooth. I don't want, I don't mind a bite, but if it's like my whole mouth is just like on edge, I don't want to do multiple ones of that. So I like it a little smoother. This isn't the smoothest of scotches you're gonna get out there. I'm sure the blend is um, contributes to that, but. It is a nice whiskey. It is something that I can um, drink and have not a problem going back and filling up another glass. So for drinkability, yes, I'm going to recommend that as well. Now distinction. Distinction um, is you know how you know how different is it from other blended Scotch whiskeys out there. And I mean, you really have to get down to the nitty gritty for a certain scotches to be like, you know, be able to, that's what that is. And uh, I mean, I will admit, I am still a bit of a novice when it comes to scotches and whiskeys. I am expanding as much as I can, but <laughs> a little more expensive to do that than your normal beer. So it's a slow process. Um, but. So I, I don't have a, a giant repertoire of other um, blended scotches out there, but for the ones I have tasted 
it is it is definitely different um you know you can you can already you can taste the difference between black and red that's for sure it's a little more smooth than the red like red has a little more bite to it um but i i don't know i'm gonna have to give this a half out of one it's maybe in a few years after i have just a much more um have more experience with many many more scotch blended scotch whiskeys i'll be able to definitely say but for me it doesn't completely stand out as you know way different um from other ones in the same uh, price category so yeah i'll give it a half out of that one and now last category is what i buy it again and I think when you look at all the other cat, all the other uh, ratings and everything um, between the, the, it is fairly smooth. It, the price tag is not bad. You're gonna pay a whole lot more for other kinds of scotches and whiskeys and bourbons out there uh, for a quality one. And this is a good, good one to have in you know the bar if you want to just a step up from your base red label without paying a whole lot more. Um, this is a good one to have. And obviously, I, I I do kind of uh, I do enjoy it. I have had these before, so I will recommend um, just if you want a fairly priced blended scotch that isn't gonna break the bank and that is smooth enough that you, you can just sip on. Yes, I would buy it again, and I would recommend anyone else to give it a whirl. So, you know, 5.5 out of six, not too shabby. But, uh, so yeah, that is my review on Johnny Walker Black Label. If uh, I'd love to see your reviews, please uh, leave it in the comments. You know, you could write your own review in the bottom. You can, uh, you know, tell me um, what you think and all of that good stuff. And, I'd, you know, we'd love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're building it by the day. So you check back in a week, we'll have, you know, even more different spirits and beers and wines up there that we're reviewing. So, um, beyond YouTube, if you, you want to check us out on Twitter, we're at Two Dudes Podcast. And speaking of podcasts, that is kind of everything centralized around our podcast. Our podcast is Two Dudes in a Six Pack. And you can find us on iTunes, on Stitcher, on Tuned In, really any other place that you go for your podcast you can find us so check us out and we'll download and subscribe um that'd be fantastic and so for now until i see you next time cheers mm -hmm.